Yo, what's good guys? It is JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory. And my goodness, what a day it has been today. We have streamed for six hours over both Twitch and YouTube today. Another day, another level. Level 36. Only 7,000 XP away from level 37 already. But we're not going to be doing our level 36 Ascension board today. That is going to be in tomorrow's episode because today we've got the very small matter of our very first Dark Matter card, which is Mel... Daniels, we have spent a large part of today uh, doing his Evo. He is now done and ready to be Evoed up, which is very, very exciting. We're going to hit a million MT again today because we've sold all of our Kobe 6 investments, which is brilliant. We've got two Quantum Packs to open up. We've got an Out of Position Pack to open up as well. And we've also completed all of the challenges for Keldon Johnson and Emmanuel Quickly. Didn't quite manage Paul Millsap, but we'll talk all about that in this video. So yesterday's episode, of course, was episode 200, and I forgot to ask, what episode did you guys start watching? So let me know down below what episode was the first No Money Spent episode that you guys ever saw on this channel, and how many have you watched? Let me down, let me know down below, because a few people did let me know yesterday, but are very interested to find out. Another thing to mention, at the time you guys are watching this, there will be the mystery secret locker code revealed. As I'm recording this, I know my part, I know HTB's part, and we know Fangs' part, but we don't know Jay Canada's part just yet as I'm recording this. So I just hope that it was something awesome. I hope you guys are really happy with whatever it was, and I hope I'm happy with whatever it was. But we're going to have to wait and find out. But let's jump into it, guys. I'm excited for today, our first Dark Matter card of the year. It is nearly mid-April. It's taken us that long. It's been a long time coming, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Pretty much daily streams and daily videos, and a huge thank you to the goats of the channel for their support. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Liam, Josh, Kieran, Trevor, and a special shout out to my guy Aiden. Wow, it's been a long day. Right, so XP stuff, I mean, it's just ridiculous. 92,000, only 58,000 left for JL Smith. We've got 26 days left of the season. We only need to average like 2,500 XP a day now. My... Goodness, so this is where we got in terms of this weekend's Pink Diamond and Opal challenges. So, 20 games through the offline, done. 20 games through the online, done. 12 games limited, we knew we had that done, that was done yesterday, that was brilliant. 5 assists with Emmanuel quickly in triple the online, 10 points in Keldon Johnson in unlimited, and 20 points in the game with Bradley Beal, and then Paul Millie Millsap. We won three games, but did they actually win three games? No. We got a dashboard on one um, before uh, the lineup screens, and I actually played and won two games. Could I have won another nine games? Maybe. Would it have mentally drained me? Yes. So I'm going to throw in the towel on Paul Millsap, and I know you guys might be saying, but he's so damn good. He may well be so damn good. But let's not forget, at the small four position in our team right now, we could run Kawhi. We could run... Uh, Billy Cunningham. We could run... I'm not going to run Bradley Beal, let's be real. Uh, we could run Obi Toppin. We could run Rudy LaRusso. We could run Cedric Maxwell. And at a power forward position, we could run D-Rob, Giannis... Um, oh, and Chris Webber at small forward as well. Uh, D-Rob, Giannis, again, Billy Cunningham. Uh, Wes Unsell could be power forward. This Mel Daniels could be power forward. Rudy LaRusso again could be power forward. Moses Malone. Hella options. So I'm not mad about not getting him. Um, and obviously we did 3,000 XP worth, so we lose out on 1,000 XP, but I'm in no rush, and we're going to get him so, so easily. In terms of the moments XP, uh, we've done Zach Levine now, we've done Trey Young, and we've got uh, 13 rebounds left with Zion, and to do Jason Tatum, so there's another 1,750 XP to come there. Uh, we move down here, we've done the weekly challenges now, they are done. We've done Obi Toppin as well, he was so easy. One game, 2,000 XP. Um, and now all we've got left, really, is n nobody... I don't have anybody here that I've got in my club. And we, we could buy a Chris Paul. We could buy a Brandon Ingram. Do I really want to? Not really. We could buy a Dominique. We could buy a Trey Young. But again, I don't really want to. So for the time being, we've just got to do these two and then see what new XP challenges 2K decide to bring out tomorrow. Right. In terms of games, we are at 1,030 wins in Trouble the Offline. That means since Danny Ferry got put into the vault, we have played... Uh, we started on 9, 4, 5 wins, so 55, 85, 85, oh my days. We've played 85 games since Danny Ferry has been put into the vault. Obviously, we ain't got no Danny Ferry yet, no Diamond Consumables pack. We have got two Quantum packs, but weirdly they were back-to-back. -back. So I played 85 games, two of them were back-to-back -back getting the Quantum packs, and then the other 83 games I didn't get any. 
So the vault is just a weird, weird place. But we're making progress. 220 more wins needed for Fat Lever. We did our weekly challenge. We've got that out of position pack to open up in just one second. And then in terms of online stuff, obviously Limited was already done. Unlimited... You might look at that record and think, 7 and 9? My God, JD, you done fell off. I mean, yes, I, I just can't play this game like that anymore. Uh, but we just quit our games, you know. It was tonight, we were trying to go for Paul Millsap. If I wasn't winning at the end of like, the first quarter, I was like, see you later. So I could have won the games. Some of them maybe, I could have lost all of them. Who knows? I could have won all of them. Uh, who knows? But I just decided, for the sake of my sanity and for the sake of time, we're just going to quit and try and get onto other games. It still didn't even work, but we have got ourselves into the Emerald tier at least. Oh, and one in that, we need five wins. Are we going to get out of the Emerald tier? I don't think so, boys. I don't think so. And then triple that online. We obviously did 20 games of that. We did work. Uh, we've gone through five boards now this season. And we might have got something, something. Uh, but we're not going to focus on that in today's video. But we will do uh, Tuesday, maybe. I don't know. Tomorrow's going to be a central board. That's what I do know. Damn it. I just have up Jeremy Grant. I didn't want to do that. Can I, can I dashboard real quick? Is that going to... Is that gonna work? Oh no, Jeremy Grant! Why did you? Why did you do that, man? Yes, it might have been my fault. Okay, I need something good out of these quantum packs to make up for the fact that I've now lost a duplicate original owner diamond card. I'm pretty sure it straight away will then show up that Jeremy Grant, and I don't think I've got any way back from here. I know you guys have done this as well. I know you guys know what this pain is like. If you've done this, let me know, please. Soften my pain right now. Have you guys lost opal duplicates? Have you guys lost pink diamond duplicates? Because I've now lost a diamond duplicate card. Auctions? Auctions? No, add to the exchange. Oh my god, who do we add him to, man? Like, come on. Come on. I, I guess Mike Bibby? Oh, screw it. I'm never, we're never going to get Lou Hudson. We're never going to get any of these guys. Big sad. Big sad. Okay, so that's another diamond card that we've lost. Fantastic. Uh, right, so let's go into the actual packs I wanted to open up. So we've got about five or six badge packs here. I've actually got a hey, range extender. I've actually got no idea what back packs are actually good, but we've got two quantum packs. I mean, we've got KD, but I wouldn't mind another one. No shake in the first pack. We've got KD, but I wouldn't mind another one. If we've got Luca, I wouldn't mind having a Luca back. I tell you what, that card has come down in price, and we might be picking up picking him up again in the next few days it is a little shake oh it's been a while since i've had a shaker boys it's been a while but can it be something good big sad oh you hate to see it i had my hopes up man they had us in the first half i ain't gonna lie uh, and it's 93 overall is it even from the set who's in the quantum set there's a uh, bob sura bob sura bob sura i mean it's all right i think he's a decent card and you know what we used up an original owner diamond card of Jeremy Grant, and we've got an original diamond card in uh, in the form of Bob Sura, so I guess that's not too bad. Right, a few more badge packs to open up, then we're getting to the op out of position pack. You know, a Kobe wouldn't go amiss, and obviously I have used that Kobe in my streams today. Is he worth a million? No, he's not, he's not worth a million MT, not in a million years. Don't pay, I mean... Pay a million NT for Kobe if you want to, but don't expect him to be, like, going to be winning new games and shooting from, like, your own paint. It's not not going to happen, man. Not going to happen. Um, but he is very, very good, and his release is really, really nice. Even after a few games of practicing, we went on a streak of, like, five, five or six green lights in a row, which, you know, with me, doesn't ever happen with any card. Last year, I loved Kobe's release. This year, I do really like Kobe's release as well. So, you know... Give him a try, but don't put all of your MT into him. So this is our reward for winning, uh, you know, four games of Unlimited or whatever it was. So not the best rewards in the world. Uh, and there is a certain little uh, Julius Randall card. We might have two of them. It might be our first ever duplicate original owner Galaxy Oval card. But like I said, we're going to give him his own video. We're going to talk about him on uh, maybe Tuesday or this week at some point. But we've got an out position pack. No shake in that. And now means we've opened 21 out of position packs and got nothing. So that sucks. But what doesn't suck is our Kobe 6 investments. Bam. So we bought all of these shoes for 19,000 MT. Diamond contract sold as well. 19,000 MT. So around a 5k profit per card. And that has put us back at 7 figure gang. 
1 million MT. And that is, of course, with Kobe, well, not Kobe, the, uh, with KD and with Chris Webber as well, with this team. Oh, and Giannis as well. Whoopsie. With Giannis, KD, oh my days. How much is KD right now? Right now, KD's coming in about 270-ish. Chris Webber, probably 100k. Yeah, about 100k. And then uh, Giannis coming in at 360k. Wow. We're, we'd be at 2 mil, I reckon. We'd be at 2 mil. Right, let's come down here, boys, to the card Evo section. First of all, actually, let's have a quick little check of uh, his stats, his being Mel Daniels. Now, I have put a diamond shoe on this card already. We've gone for the Air Jordan 1 BHMs. Close shot, 99. 3.86. Driving dunk, 93. Perimeter defense, 88. And another stat boost, which I can't see. So how do we do it? How do we go ahead and Evo him? Well, let me show you guys what you need to do in the first place to Evo him. 500 points, 100 rebounds, and 25 blocks. So we won 19 games of triple the offline with him scoring every shot, every possession. So that got us a decent way. I think it was like 300 or 400 points. I can't do math in my head. And he had at that point about 70 rebounds. The blocks were a pain. One game he had five, one game he had four, and then like the combined 15 other games he had like three. I was like, what is going on? I don't understand this. Um, so the blocks were actually a pain. We then went into the 12 games of the online that we had to win today, and we used Mel Daniels in all 12 of those games as well, and he still wasn't there with his blocks or his rebounds. So we then had to go back into Triple the Offline, and then finally we managed to get the remaining rebounds and the remaining blocks done, and this is now going to get us our very first ever Dark Matter card. Now, it's not quite the same as getting one out of a pack like JL Smith's going to be, you know, seeing that pack animation, seeing a walkout, that's special. This is just going to be a little bit of a, a thingy on our screen. Now, as usual, I keep saying, we can't see the badges that he's going to get. So, at the moment, he has got, to the best of my knowledge, 20... Uh, how many badges? 22 gold and 36 Hall of Fame. So 22 gold, 36 Hall of Fame, and now our first ever Dark Matter card of the year. This better be a sick animation. So I don't know if we're ever going to get this again. Let's do it. This better be sick, 2K. Come on, this is our first ever Dark Matter card of the year. And that's so anticlimactic, it hurts me. But that card art kind of do make up for it, man. That car, I mean, there we go. Fully upgraded. There's, there's nothing else to do here. That's uh, that, that's it. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, but let's have a look now at our first ever Dark Matter card. Where is he? Uh, let's chuck him down here. And there it is. Bam! Oh, looking good, Mel Daniels. Looking very good indeed. So, uh, stats-wise, has anything changed here? I don't know. Did anything go up? Yeah, his three ball went up to... Oh, yeah, his three balls up a 93 now. So fully evo he has 93 drive allowed, 93 driving dunk with a shoe, 93 3, 86 ball control, 90 block, 95 interior defense, 88 perimeter defense, 98 rebounding, 96 speed, acceleration, and 94 lateral quickness. And then badges we have got, go on top, we've got 43 Hoff badges and 19 gold. We've got catch and shoot, relentless. We have got rim protector, box clamps, heart crusher, intimidator, rebound. Uh, we have got contact finisher, showtime, quick first step, deep fade, great badge, uh, range tender, Hall of Fame steady, next gen Hall of Fame blinders, great, mm, Hall of Fame steady, not so great. And the gold badge, corner specialist, dimer, and um, what else got down here? Green machine, hot zone hunter. And of course, notably, you can't add, can't add, can't add badges to an Evo player. So he doesn't have flexible at all, and he doesn't have dead eye at all. Now that is a bit of a problem. That is uh, not ideal. If you compare him to somebody like Wes Unseld, six nine, six seven. Now Mel Daniels is listed as having a seven foot eleven wingspan, but let me tell you, he don't feel like it. He don't feel like it in the slightest. I think Giannis has got a seven foot eleven wingspan. I don't know, Giannis' wingspan feels hella bigger than this uh, this guy. Even Dino Raja, I think that's he's listed at 7-11 as well. And they're not even close. Um, so, wingspan may be a little bit of a lie. A little bit of a porky. Um, but in terms of stats, very similar. Western Seldon with a better passing, but very similar. But, Western Seldon has got dead eye. And he's got flexible. And he doesn't have stead eye. steady. <laughs> steady. So, I don't know. Is this Mel Daniels ever going to play for me? Debatable. But, oh, look at that. I've got to have him. For a first Dark Matter of the year, we've got to have him. That glow that goes around the card, that is different. The 99 looks 
different. Um, and yeah, our team can now go back to normal uh, without Kobe being Bryant anymore. And this is our now normal lineup with Don O, KD, C Web, Mel Daniels, and Giannis. And then we, I think we are just going to start using a full 10 man rotation from now on. Because why the hell not? Um, so the backup one, I think we're probably still going to have Dwayne Wade. We're going to have Kawhi. We are not going to have Peja Stojakovic. Hell nah. We probably are going to have Wes Unseld down here, I'm going to say. And then Rudy LaRusso instead of Billy Cunningham, I think. And that is a pretty damn good 10-man rotation for a no money spent squad. Now, yes, point guard is definitely a little bit a little bit low right there. Um, so we could buy back a Luka Doncic, who right now is about 250k. That's not bad. That really is not bad at all. If I can find one with clamps, as I said the other day, I think if we could buy a Luka with clamps for about 300k, he's going to come in. Donald will be able to come off the bench. Dwayne Wade out of the squad. I think then we're pretty much done. And... Done. So that, guys, is going to do it. What a day it has been. We have grinded this game so much. Triple the online. We done completed that, and you guys will see that properly in a few days. Uh, limited, we smashed that this weekend. Unlimited, not really. Triple the offline, smashed that. We've done our challenges. Dominations have been completed this weekend. And, of course, we now have our very first. If we search over here, Dark Matter. All right, okay, apart from Kobe. We've now got our first actual Dark Matter card, and that is is sick so that is gonna do it from me today everybody i hope you have enjoyed because i definitely have as usual please like subscribe and i'll see you next time peace